Children's Food Trust is on a mission to get every child eating well at home, in childcare, at school and beyond. Because every child everywhere has the right to nutritious food. But lots of us right here in Britain are missing out. Obesity and other conditions caused by a poor diet are putting pressure on our doctors and hospitals and it's costing everyone too much. Part of the problem is that our nation's forgotten how to cook. We watch cooking shows on TV, but lots of us never learn the basics of how to cook a good meal. Practical cooking dropped off the school curriculum for a long time, leaving a whole generation without kitchen confidence. The pace and pattern of family life has changed. We don't cook or eat together so often. In 2006, the Children's Food Trust set up Let's Get Cooking for funding from the big lottery. They created 5,700 Let's Get Cooking clubs in schools all over England, from the Isles of Scilly right up to Northumberland. And trained almost 11,500 club coordinators and helpers. Between them, they ran more than 230,000 cooking sessions for children, young people and their families. That's a whole lot of ingredients and washing up. Learning to cook brought some surprising benefits, from confidence to coordination, from friendships to conquering food fears. Research shows that more than half of the people who take part in Let's Get Cooking carry on eating more healthily and almost all use their new cooking skills at home. All families need the skills, knowledge and confidence to feed themselves well. But it's especially important when they've got very little money for food and cooking. So the trusts, trained staff and lots of organisations, including food banks, children's centres and housing associations. They showed them how to run cookery demonstrations that would help families plan meals, shop smarter, get portion sizes right, eat healthily and cut their food waste. The staff they trained found that they could work with families in a new way. Preferring food together was a way to build trust and opening important conversations. The families said they enjoyed their cooking sessions, which helped them make friends feel useful and relax. But most importantly, helped them eat more healthily for less money. Families also told us that they now saved money, shopped differently, wasted less food, and didn't rely on ready meals as much. Around a third of families ate more vegetables and used takeaways less often after cooking with us. Around a third of the families prepared and cooked a meal from scratch more often. Over half the families felt more confident cooking with their children. The Princess Trust is one of the organisations the Children's Food Trust has worked with. It helps vulnerable young people get stability in their life and learn skills that improve their confidence, motivation and opportunities. The Children's Food Trust knew cookery could be a part of that, so they worked with the staff at the Prince's Trust to strengthen the cookery parts of their residential courses and follow on work with young people. After the training, the Prince's Trust staff said they felt more enthusiastic and confident about running cookery activities. Cooking sessions became more popular and more young people were asking to take recipes home. Working together to make a tasty meal and share their food had an immediate impact on young people. They tried new foods, they saw how they could eat more cheaply. They felt more confident. Part of a team. They made friends. And that they all learned skills to last a lifetime. The journey to get the nation cooking has only just begun and there's a long way to go. Together with their incredible volunteers, the Children's Food Trust is giving us cooking skills that will last a lifetime.